So you're you're Ron's son. So you remember this car Ron, when? Yeah, it, Rogers. Yeah, I remember Rogers Rogers car. Yeah, it was a piece of junk. <laughs> when he had. It was a piece of junk. Now look at it. Yeah. Or look at the blower. Is that one of the GM blowers? It is. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a 3800 uh, V6 out of a Pontiac Grand Prix uh, GTP awesome. with a few tweaks. <laughs> wow. It looks good. It's a very clean build. Thank you. Yeah. Thank well, you. Good. How long did it take you to do all this? Two years? Uh, two years, but I got the engine from start to finish in about four months. Wow. So oh, this is really, really clean. Yeah. Got a, That's impressive. I, tell me I didn't forget my book. God, I bought my books at the house. Mm -hmm. I have I have like all the all the stuff documented. Of course, I didn't bring it, but I um, yeah, I did almost everything myself on it too. Really? So yeah. Who painted it? Uh, Panther Paint Body in Wicksburg. Panther Paint Body. They did a good job. I did I did all the prep work and I brought him all the panels in in a trailer. So okay. so all the stuff was painted off the car. I'll be honest with you, I've never seen a Fiera in this good a shape. I mean, all of them are ragged up. It's kind of like, like a fox by this thing. You always see them where the race cars are ragged. ragged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And same thing. Car, never it's clean, you're like, wow. Yeah. That's clean. So, yeah, I've, I mean, okay. and if you look at the under, thank you. If you look at the underneath, it's uh, it's just as clean. Uh, but, but man, I got this thing and. Um, it's just as clean. <laughs> oh, I see an original picture down there. Oh. <clears throat> uh, no, that's a uh one like that's it. one of the, that's a uh one of those Ferrari kit cars. Oh, I see it, so nice. Mm -hmm. So but wow. uh damn it, I forgot my <laughs> forgot my, my book. I'll, I sent I sent I sent Roger a bunch of pictures okay. though. Yeah, so he, he sent a picture and he was like he was like he was like that's our old friend i'm like no nah, you're joking because <laughs> the guy that we saw him to we thought he was just going to scrap him you know what i mean and, uh so, so my understanding is this was owned by doc patterson okay. in uh, a dentist in town he had it for like he was the original owner had it for like 20 years mm -hmm. and uh in fact it's got an oil change sticker like right now it's got sixty four thousand seven fifty mm -hmm. on the mileage mm -hmm. It says uh, oil, next oil change August thirty first two thousand at sixty one thousand miles. Wow! <laughs> so yeah, it's got it's got like four forty seven hundred more miles on it. Yeah, than... the story that, 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 that from what I remember this car. So my dad bought it off of a good friend of his that works up here at the at the um, peanut plant. He uh -huh. had it, and my dad bought it because um, I don't know. My dad just likes buying weird things. Well, he uh -huh. bought it, and a guy um that was working with us bought it off my dad uh -huh. and then he had it and then he sold it to a guy right up the road and then i don't know if the guy right off the road that's that uh, he had it for like two years uh his name is mike etheridge yeah. Yeah. and he had it. he has a silver one a, mm -hmm. a four cylinder that one's running but he just likes hard having some like health issues okay. and he I just could yeah. yeah he just mm -hmm. yeah yeah i guess nick's driving the fiero and he uh he just said he couldn't work on it, so he wow. put it on Facebook Marketplace. And I, I'd always loved the Fiero, and I've been thinking about it for, um, um, you know, years, you know. And then I knew you could put V8s in them, and then I started looking to it, and the, the, the 3800 swap, and I saw it on Facebook Marketplace. I'm like, it's destiny. Because I also, I, I fell back in love with this after the C8 came out. I got you. Yeah, I was like, yeah. so. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, man. So, and it looks it like, I mean, uh, yeah, so when me and dad had it, we actually got it and we backed it around right here. Uh -huh. And we had it sitting here and we first fired, when we first fired it up, it put a humongous flame because it backfired right through the back of the <laughs> and it caught. I don't know if you saw it, there, there used to be a burn mark on the back bumper to where it burnt the bumper. I, I didn't notice that, but oh that, man, no. It had a burn. I don't know if he swapped the bumper, done something. This is, I think it's all, all really, original, all matched, really. but. Well, he must have covered it because <laughs> it had a big old just burn mark on the bumper. Oh man. Where we um, done that, and then once we got fired, we realized it was rod knocking. My dad was like, I don't feel like messing with it, you know, so that's when he yeah. solved it. Yeah, I still got the original motor. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so I had it running within like a week. Um, but yeah, it was like clank, 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 clank. And I'm, yeah. yeah. And then I took, uh, like actually when it was sitting over there, the brakes were like seized up and like yeah. me and the tow truck driver, like I, I, I pulled my back trying to push this thing 
to get like he couldn't get the tow truck back in the back of that guy's yard and um so he uh uh we pushed it but like trying to get it unseized was just like it was it was, it was hard and um i got it where it would move a little bit mm -hmm. but then um and i got it running and i took my wife for a ride around our neighborhood in it mm -hmm. and like it was funny because her first car was a fiero and she was really? in high school yeah really? That's and crazy. and so um as we're driving around all of a sudden the the brake pedal went to the floor oh. one of the brake lines like they're mild steel and it yeah. rusted through wow. and uh like it hadn't had pressure on it i guess it was just like too weak and yeah, so so lost the brakes luckily the brakes were still seized up but i've i've replaced all the brakes wow. uh they're actually uh um pontiac grand am really? brakes because these were originally not though the front the the backs are are fiero mm -hmm. but uh all stainless steel brake lines it's got a chevy s10 brake booster really right here this is a Chevy Chevy S10 brake booster, and then a bigger bore um, uh, master cylinder, so it's like 23% more stopping power. And then the, the vintage rotors uh, are off of a Grand Am. There's a kit they sell in the Fiero store that they they basically turn because uh, before you this is the kind of uh, we have to pull the the whole ro brake rotor off the spindle mm -hmm. you have to pull the pin and mm -hmm. the nut and everything mm -hmm. so this this makes more like modern brakes where it, it the rotor just fits right over the the uh wow. over the uh studs okay. and then bolts yeah. on but yeah. but yeah i've uh yeah i updated to a, a three core champion radiator mm -hmm. and i upgraded the fan and then um but yeah i, I wasn't gonna spend money on that old engine anyways it it, yeah. it barely had any power and then the, the gas tank was like full of rust mm -hmm. i don't know how if you guys had cleaned the fuel tank out or anything mm -hmm. no no we just got in here tried to fire it up and then it backfired <laughs> put a flame so we got a fire extinguisher put it out and then we cleaned it all off and then we uh we actually put some race gas in a motor and that's what bursted it off we mixed some race gas and some normal gas and that's how we got it busted off we actually had a remote tank you know sit to the side like a little gas uh -huh. it was pumping fuel into the motor and that's how we got it running oh okay and then once we got fired up and they started knocking like a chinaman downstairs <laughs> we just said, nah, we're, done. we're busting people we just said we'll get rid of it i've always thought they're cool cars but i've never really i've always seen uh, rad ones i've never seen nice ones yeah like i said uh if you would have seen it like two months ago um it wasn't painted like half the pan like i only had the rear clip okay on and uh no windows and stuff and so it, you recently just got it yeah i just i just got it got got the like i finally uh uh like said panther paint body he uh mm -hmm. he uh he fit me in for a paint job i brought him all the stuff and then uh like i've been trying to get to the emerald coast cruise in for like three years mm -hmm. and um oh not three years three uh -huh. three shows three shows and uh i finally uh yeah, I was like, I, I gotta get it done, and so like it was kind of the excuse that I could give my wife to, mm -hmm. to uh, just spend all February putting it back together and stuff. Wow. And, and then it was a yucky weekend. Yeah. 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 It was. Uh, it rained on Friday, and then uh, Saturday was just freaking cold, and then mm -hmm. the wind was blowing like crazy, so not that many people showed up. So. I bet you get a lot of looks in this car. Oh, I, like people go crazy over it. People yeah. were nuts, like, and then there, again, it's just like you. Everybody like comes to the front, and they're like, "Oh man, this is a." This is a clean fear. I've never seen one of these yeah, that clean. Exactly. And then they get around to the back and they're like, holy crap, yeah. dude, come over here. Look yeah, at this engine. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so I, I, like, I, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. And yeah, then, yeah, uh, really but I got a lot of positive feedback at the car show. Oh yeah. So. And once you get probably tuned, well, I mean, I don't really know if you have to get tuned. Was it, it you done the swab? Did you change it? it the well, there is a, there is a tune. Um, so, uh, uh, the brackets. There's a there's a guy. That, he's known as Fiero Raj. Mm -hmm. His name's also Roger, and uh, he uh, he he ha he's kind of like has the the template already set for the the engine and transmission mounts. So I bought the mounts off of him. And then there's a guy in Canada named Danny McMoyle. Mm -hmm. He uh, he builds the wiring harness. There's a guy in Alabama that does it uh, too. But he's um, uh, he's you know he's got another job and he's been really busy so oh, so, he didn't, so he didn't have time to do it so the the danny in canada he built me the wiring harness and programmed the ecm okay, so or pcm okay. the powertrain control module uh like i bought a whole entire crash pontiac grand prix gtp really? and uh um it was it's funny as a one owner canadian grand prix gtp 1998 wow. the guy had like 
in the owner's manual had immaculate, immaculate records, every oil change, every belt, mm -hmm. like everything. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like it ran good and it, uh, he loved that car and it was, it was a, mm -hmm. for a 98 Grand Prix, it was like the paint was perfect. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he, uh, he, his son, his 16 year old son was driving it, got hit by F-150 wow. in, the, in the front. So he uh he couldn't bear to look at the car anymore and it was it was total so he he put it up for sale and um um i found it and you know like yeah like a lot of them you know are mistreated but that one was was good but i found out the uh uh this is actually the back of the engine on the grand prix mm -hmm. it's up here the where the front dog bones were mm -hmm. uh in the accident it actually uh the force broke the front cylinder head huh. so i had to replace the cylinder head anyways and then one thing led to another and I was like, well, might as well put a, since I'm rebuilding the engine anyways, might put a cam in there and then had a uh, Pilcher Automotive. They did my heads. Work, yeah. yeah, they, uh, they did the stainless steel valves, uh, oh, um, machined it. Okay. And then, uh, but the rest of the engine I did and it's just the stock, uh, engine and transmission mm -hmm. out of the Grand Prix, but with a ZZP XP cam, stainless steel valves, I added a, a intercooler. Mm -hmm. This is a stage 2.5. I thought it was an intercooler or something. Yeah, it's a stage 2.5 intercooler. It's not plumbed right now. I, need, I got the, the, the front heat exchanger and I've got that. I just got to get the pump wired up and mm -hmm. uh, fill uh, lines run to the front and fill it up. But, wow. Um, and then uh, it's got a 3.4 inch pulley. I can drop to a 3.2 or even a 2.8 inch pulley after uh, with the mods I have. And then I've got it set up to run E85 if I wanna. That'll be on, yeah. Yeah, so then you can really raise the boost and. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's a little rocket. I, I, oh, I can imagine it's fast now. Zero sixty about four and a half seconds. Wow. So yeah, and then the being mid engine, cool. it's. Uh, Puts the power down really well. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Biggest thing is just the the, the rear trunk here, mm -hmm. like it gets uh like if you drive it for, you know, a couple hours, it 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 gets pretty toasty, toasty in there yeah so there is like a pontiac had uh because uh the the ignition control module and stuff were mm -hmm. like overheating they did put a uh there's actually a fan in the trunk and it blows cold air when the front fans up there's like two little holes there really? so it kind of yeah, but it blows the heat around. yeah that, that works I so imagine the heat gets pretty stagnant in there and causes you know I'm yeah like, that's why uh I'm, i don't know if you saw it i modified the yeah, I the rear right. deck lid yeah. i added a vent here to yeah. to kind of help get that yeah. heat out and then uh there. like kind of like the ferraris and stuff yeah, the, that's pretty neat. Yeah. the uh the little window here mm -hmm. so that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy but your dad said he'd be here in about 30 minutes yeah. like yeah he's yeah he said he's on his way okay yeah, yeah. so i know i think my dad still has a lot of the books and stuff that came with the car i don't know if it's got he, any he had a he had a box that I bought from him. So like it was funny. The reason I, I met your dad and found out the whole thing that you guys had the car was uh, I went on eBay and I was looking for extra grills. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and he was an extra grill. I can't remember what it, I think that's what it was. And uh, he said he had some. And then like and it was funny. Like you go on eBay and you're like it's all the way across the country. And it's like Enterprise Alabama. I'm like what? He's like hey you can do local pickup. So yeah. I. I set up for local pickup and then uh, came over and he's like, hey, I got all this, this blue tub full of parts. He had like mm -hmm. brakes and oh, stuff. he had a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, he had a big bin full of stuff. And I, I, used, uh, I used a lot of that stuff. Actually, the this grill, mm -hmm. I took two of the extra grills he had mm -hmm. and then I cut them in half. Sure. And, yeah. and then uh, I don't know if you know um, Mike from uh, Transmatic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mike, yeah. Yeah, he, uh, so he, he helped me uh, TIG weld my exhaust. It's mm -hmm. all stainless steel. And like, I, I kind of like, Told him what I wanted to do, and he just ta tacked it all together. Wow. Um, Mike's good. He puts all of our transmissions. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. So I, I took him. You know, I thought this was aluminum. You know, mm -hmm. so I took him the the. I had it all machined up just like this, but like not connected. So I took it to him to mm -hmm. TIG weld, and uh, like normally, like I give it to him, and he's like, "I was ready to pick up the next day." Yeah. And uh, is he's like taking his time. And he's like, I'm having issues with it. And I'm like, okay. So I, I finally go back back down there and, mm -hmm. and say, he's like, this ain't aluminum. <laughs> it turns out these are magnesium. And it was like, when he started yeah. trying to weld it, it was like a, a sparkler. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. So I ended up, what I ended up doing is uh, um, using black RTV, mm -hmm. just RTV and uh, uh, an extra little bit of the, uh, of the grill. Mm -hmm. And I just 
bonded it together with RTV. Okay. Hey, so, whatever works, yeah, works, you know? Yeah. It, it's freaking, you know, RTV, that stuff freaking. Oh, yeah, it ain't going nowhere. Yeah, so, yeah. and I figured that that take the heat and it's flexible and so, wow. so. <laughs> Uh, if my wife had anything like she's like she's like that piece of crap i'm you're lucky i don't push it in a ditch and set it on fire and if <laughs> and if i'm really mad at you i'm gonna put you in it when i do it <laughs> you know oh, yeah. so, but uh wow. but uh yeah now that it's painted she's she quit calling it my piece of crap fiero and so <laughs> it's all about the looks <laughs> yeah I guess it ran good. I, I I've been driving it with the body panels off for last year. You might have seen really? it I haven't around seen town. It around, really. Yeah, like it, like everything comes off. So that's crazy. What color is that? Uh, that is Eastwood's. Um, it's Fireball Red Pearl Metallic. Yeah, I noticed it's got some flake in it. Yeah, I got a little bit of flake in it. It's really really red. Like yeah, but I, it looks good on this car. It looks good. And the only thing is, like this engine was really really red. And I parked next, like, look at that Mustang. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's a red Mustang. Yeah. But when you look at it next to this paint, it looks orange. Yeah. Same thing with my engine. Like, that, that engine yeah. was bright red. And now, now, it, now it, like, it looks like it's... Kind of like a, like a dark, dark red. Yeah. red yeah. yeah, yeah, orangish red, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I had, uh, I had a tons of people like, man, who did your paint? It looks amazing. Yeah, that's the so. biggest thing we have trouble with is trying to find painters. Yeah, uh, I highly recommend uh, Derek in... Um, it's in Wicksburg, right by the drive-in movie theater. Okay. And uh, uh, I say he did a good job. That's not even buffed and cut. That's just yeah. straight out of the gun. I, I still gotta buff and cut buff it. And cut it. Yeah. Mm. So it, it looks cut. good. I don't I, like. I'm, I'm gonna wait till like the paint gets messed up before I do anything. I'm just gonna like leave mm -hmm. it like that for now. So. Oh, you? So. Oh, wow. Eleven thousand square foot facility that we're in the process of building that we're gonna be moving into. I mean, we're gonna be anything. You know, we're gonna be a one-stop shop. Car comes in, a uh -huh. bucket of bolts, and uh, you know, and on a trailer, and it'll leave looking like this. You know, oh, that's awesome! Car. That's yeah. awesome. And we're gonna have our own paint body shop, interior shop, everything. It's, and it's Wiz not Wiz Wiz Mustangs. Mustangs. Yeah, we uh, specialize Mustangs, Broncos, Fairlanes, mainly anything classy. I mean, you can see we got a couple Cadillacs in the yard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, this is us. We do it all. <laughs> My dad's been doing it since. Shoot, he's probably been doing it for 30, 31 years uh -huh. as with that most things in business. He just, you know, it's just been, you know, kind of, we used to do kind of uh, flipping cars and then everybody wanted their cars working on. So we started taking in work and he started taking in work and then it just blew up into something that we couldn't ever imagine. I mean, we're booked, we're booked for about two years now in restoration work to get. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We got people with cars sitting in their yard or in their garages just itching. You know, we got a waiting list. So we knock one out, we bring one in, knock one out, we bring one in. And I mean, it's like, um, right now, I mean, the hardest thing with trying to um, do what we do is branching out to other people. We got six cars waiting for, you know, paint jobs, and then we got <laughs> a bunch of cars ripped apart, just waiting for motors and stuff like that. It's just, it's a, it's a hectic day every time you come in. But if you do it, you know, it's love what you do. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. My, uh, my son, I sent him a picture. He's like, "Hey, you want a job?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah. we I actually said, uh, hired a. Uh, he's a he's. He's 16 years old and he's got a fox body that he's building and he was always, he loves fox bodies and Mustangs and so we hired him he just kind of helps out and does what, you know, we want, want him to do. Wow. Yeah. We're all about training. We'll train somebody. You see, he has, uh, I, I guess you moved some of the cars over to the other shop. Mm -hmm. This is the, uh, you, you guys got the, uh, the uh, police, the yeah, state trooper yeah, a, Mustang. Yeah, my dad, he had, he had like, he has like two or three of them. He had four of them. Um, he had one that was a fully decked out far high patrol car. I mean, you could get it, put a cop in, and he'd run down the road and get somebody a ticket. <laughs> and then he's got one that is a cap, that was a captain's car. They only got one of three in that year, and his is the last surviving car. It's an undercover car. It's painted that, um, like, C Clipso green. Uh -huh. But, it, I mean, everybody looks at it and says, that, you know, that's, that's a clone of a cop car. ain't a cop car. But then he has all the documentation. It's the last surviving one. So Wow. It is, it's, it's crazy. Wow. I love the shop. This is yeah. like this is kind of like what I hope to build. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I just have a one garage, and my wife's like thankful that this thing's built now, that uh, she can park in the garage again. Mm -hmm. So uh, I could have probably done it quicker, but like Take it got and get it right. yeah, and then it, it got kind of put on the back burner, so it got pushed to the side of the garage so she could park in there, and then mm -hmm. 
then uh, then it's hard to work on. So then, um, but uh, you know, finally I put the put some pep in my step and got it put back together. And mm -hmm. so, but I'd like to have a shot like this that yeah, uh, this is a forty by sixty. Yeah, that I, uh, you know, that we can park in the garage and then, like, I can work on stuff without having to, like, mm -hmm. stop and put everything away. And, you know, that's the hardest part. So. Yeah, once we get moved Oh, I see out. you got a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Hey, we used to fly that years ago, but then he lost the remote, so we hung it up. Oh, that's uh -huh. awesome. Makes a good decoration. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah. It's, it's going to be fun trying to move everything out of here because we got a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's shaking his head because he's not ready for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a actual, oh, that's a 79. Everybody says that, you know, Fox bodies didn't have, you know, a Cobra year, but 79 was the year that they made the Cobra. Oh, look. man. Yeah, it's a pretty pristine car. Oh, I mean, because it has all the stamping. It's on the dash, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. And, uh, and he just wanted to get back up and running his dad's car. And then, you know, we got, it's got a little 306, little 302, three, you know, it's 430 over. Mm -hmm. A little cam. It's a, it's a sharp little car. just trying to get it right forward. Yeah, yeah. I always liked the, the Fox by Mustangs. And oh, I, yeah. I remember uh, I used to go to the street drags as a kid. And then mm -hmm. uh, there was a, uh, I saw this white saline Mustang. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, and then, yeah. and then he, 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 he takes off and it's like, Wob, wob. It was a four cylinder Mustang oh, with a saline dude. kit, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. yeah we're, uh, that's that's mainly what kicked me and uh, my dad's business off was we used to just do nothing but Fox bodies, and that's what we specialized uh -huh. in. And then um, we've done some older classics, and then as the new age came around, we had to get with the times and start doing the newer stuff. And then um, our biggest thing that we mess with right now is um, the four six four valves of the Modular motors. I mean, mm -hmm. that's we've had a run on them. It's it's crazy to run a shop because you'll get a run you you'll get a run on like the classics mm -hmm. and then you'll get all them done and then you'll get a run on like the new Mustangs you'll get all them done and then you'll get a run on the the, the like the the nineties model Mustang like the ninety nine oh four and then you'll get a run on the Fox bodies it's just it's always crazy. Um, it's awesome. My dad right there. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you don't mind me recording. Yeah, it'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hey, you, do, you don't mind me recording, do you? You don't mind me recording, do you? No. Okay. How's it going? Good. I don't know if you remember this thing. You Steve doing? Steve Johnson Steve. again. Wow, <laughs> Roger with Wisnet Mustangs. Ooh, look at that thing right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh do you remember that thing when I you had it? Do. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> that amazing. That's totally amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you sure this is the same car? It's no. the same car. I of course I I, I I, I had it in here and then I left it in my garage. I have a, a, a book with all, all the pictures I sent you. Yeah. I've got like a whole documentation of all the the process and stuff. And See, that is amazing. <laughs> this car is. Wow. I mean, it's not a Mustang, but. But it is gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Zed. Yeah. What do you think? It looks good. That's crazy. He's That's like, crazy, it. <laughs> I love that red, too. That Thank box. you. That's uh, Eastwood. Is flake? Uh huh. Oh, it's Eastwood. Eastwood. It's Eastwood. It's, uh, I used uh, epoxy primer uh, with a uh, white base coat. And then it's a, uh, it's actually a single stage polyurethane, um, uh, fireball red pearl metallic. And then it's got three stage of European clear over the top. So, and then, um, I had Panther paint body in Wicksburg. It's right by the drive through. Yeah. Uh, he's like a one man shop, but he, he spray, it hadn't even cut and buffed. It's, it's straight out of the gun. A couple spots where there was like some some stuff kicked into the paint. He he did, he did like little spot stuff, but overall it's oh that's goodness. just straight out of the oh gun. So I can still cut and buff it. And I love the wheels on it. Thank you. I have the original perfect fit. For that, car. <laughs> that is a perfect. Fit. I have the original wheels. They're in boxes. I haven't touched them, but I kept them just just because. And and then uh, yeah, I I, uh, I was talking to your son about. Uh, 
I had the, uh, like, uh, Mike Etheridge bought it. Um, he's, he's, he lives in downtown. He's the one who had it for like two years. Yeah, he lives right down the road. Well, yeah. I'm delivering it to him. Okay. Yes, uh, like he had, didn't, didn't touch it for like two years and then I got it. I got it running within like a week. And but it was a like like you probably know had really bad rod knock. It was like clank 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 clank, clank. and then um, uh, so so I was like, well, no sense rebuilding that engine. I wanted to do the swap anyways, and it was really a matter of which car I could f find first. You can do a LS4 with a it's a 5.3 LS motor, but it's designed for front wheel drive cars out of like a Impala SS or a Grand Prix GXP. So I was looking at those, but they're a little bit harder to find. But I found this, uh, this 3,800. Um, I, I, there's a crash Pontiac Grand Prix in Macon, Georgia. And the professor at the school there, he had uh, bought it in Canada as it was the original owner, kept it all these years, 20 years, and uh, his son was driving it and got T-boned. But it was like immaculate, had all the records. And so I bought that. I wasn't going to do as much as I did. And then, um, um, you just keep but in the, yeah, 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 you just can't stop. That's all there is. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the accident, uh, like one of the heads was damaged. So I found somebody on uh, the fear forums that had an extra set of heads. He just pretty much just charged me shipping. So I redid the heads. I took them to Pilcher and then, uh, I added X. I did the engine work myself, except for the heads. I had Pilcher do it, but everything else was pretty much, uh, all me. And then, like I said, the only thing I didn't also didn't do is I did all the prep work for the paint, but he, uh, uh, Derek at, at um, Panther Paint Body sprayed it for me. <laughs> That's amazing. So, Steve. but I did like the reproduction VIN stickers. So I, I tried to make just them. Just looked at that. I so. cannot believe that. That is amazing. So, like there's a lot of stuff that that not perfect and that that I know, but like overall, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. So oh, I'll be very happy. <laughs> that, it's definitely the wow factor when I seen it. It's amazing. Yeah, same car too. Like I so said, the only thing that's uh, I, oh, I I did a, a couple little little mild modifications. I added a back window back here and the oh, and the grill. <laughs> And then the, the grill right here. Uh, I took uh, the. You sold me that box of uh, grills you had, mm -hmm. and I took two of these and I. Uh, Made it so they'll match. I, yeah, I um, cut them out of there. This is actually the second one I did because the first one I took it over to uh, Mike at Transmatic, who, who he 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 uh, helped me uh, TIG weld my exhaust, and uh, I took him the uh, aluminum. Uh, oh, I thought it was aluminum. I took him these. I'm like, you can TIG aluminum. He's like. Uh, yeah, sure. So I brought it to him, and like normally, like I take it to him like a day later, it's all all done. And it was, he's like, I'm having some problems with it, and it turns out they're magnesium, they're not aluminum. So when he tried to weld them, it was like a, a damn sparkler. <laughs> so I had to redo it, and then I had just just bonded it with. Uh, I used uh, I had a, a little extra piece of this. I put it underneath, and I just bonded it with uh, uh, RTV, black RTV. So. Oh man, you even got hoses that got red. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I like your tag, too, 3,800. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, we couldn't go to lunch, me and son. Okay. So. You go with us? Where are you going? I don't know. Wherever he picks, I guess. Yeah, I'll follow you guys. All right. That's amazing, dude. Cuts is always good. Yeah, that's probably where he'll want to go. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, read it in here. I've got, like, heat shield underneath. and. This, uh, here, this here was a beautiful <laughs> add-on. Thank you. A beautiful. Thank you. I, I there's a guy uh, in the Fiero community. He's known as Ski Time because that was on the Fiero forums was his, his handle, yeah. and he had he was like the first one to do this, and he did this vent. And so, so there's cool. some people that have done this, um, but I that that's what inspired me, and I tried to do a good job. It's it it's not the, perfect, but it's it gets the heat out really good yeah then. yeah especially right here on that super yeah car. yeah and, and this is this is a half inch. Um, uh, Lexan. So everybody's like, well, that'll warp. I'm like, it's pretty thick. I don't think it's going to warp. And this is plastic anyway. So uh, this it is composite. So. Heat <laughs> so. That's amazing. And that eating looks so good on <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, so, so far, the only big thing is I had the air conditioning running and blowing cold. I had a custom hose that went from the Fiero system to that 3800 um, uh, compressor. 
and the line, uh, I guess what, one of the crimps wasn't really good. It was like leaking slowly. And like I was driving it went psh, white Blow everywhere. Down. So I gotta, I gotta rebuild that. You don't know anybody that rebuilds their conditioner lines. Yeah, do you? It's all motor for us. They do. Yes, they do. <sighs> uh, they used to, I'm sure they Okay. Do. I'll, I'll, I'll ask them. So, well, well, I'll follow you guys to lunch then. So I'm glad you, wow. <laughs> you know, I felt good about the car, the but, quality, uh, the quality and the work you've done is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, my wife will tell you I'm, I'm anal about a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's what we are. So. That is, that is a wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I'll try to do a YouTube video, so. So you think it's okay? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. I'm so used to being ragged and chucked out. I mean, I've been around and seen him. Junk out a couple friends trying to buy it. Uh-huh. I got a question. Did you actually get a hold of GM and get the original stick? Yes. Yes. Like yeah. Oh yeah, this is uh this is the, so that's that's the uh th that's never been off. It, it, I just cleaned it up. That's the rich. That's the original sticker Where did you and that's purchase this at? Uh Enterprise. I got it from Mike Etheridge. Uh he lives on College Street in downtown and then he bought it from him. I was just taking it back to him to show him like after I restored the car. Uh did you do the work? I did yeah, I did everything. So and then the interior, like if you want to look I just locked it but just yeah, I, uh, I took it. I was getting it ready for the Emerald City cru cruising or Emerald Coast cruising. So, <laughs> that's the only problem with driving this car, it's like a car show. <laughs> It is. That's, yes. You upgraded that. Yeah, that's a uh, uh, auto dimming. Yeah. It's got the LCD with a with the compass and the garage door opener. Yeah, every, everything. The engines off of Pontiac. Yourself at all? I was gonna do it myself. Uh, Panther Paint Body in Wicksburg actually sprayed it. I did all the prep work and he sprayed it for me. So Wicksburg. So, Wicksburg, right by the driving movie. He's literally right next to the driving. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Derek. I'm the only I'm the only dummy that did it, so These are the house ducks. They like getting sprayed with water. You guys hungry? Huh? Hold on. 